Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 6 times x plus 7 times x plus 8 times x plus 9 over x minus 6 times x minus 7 times x minus 8 times x minus 9 is equal to 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since this 6 plus this 9 6 plus 9 is equal to 15 and this 7 plus this 8 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. So, we write this uh, x plus 6 with this x plus 9 and we write this uh, x plus 7 with this x plus 8 like this x plus 6 times x plus 9 times x plus 7 times x plus 8 divided by x minus 6 times x minus 9 times x minus 7 times x minus 8 is equal to 1. Now, we multiply this uh, x plus 6 by this x plus 9. x times x uh, will become x squared and x times plus 9 plus 9x and plus 6 times x plus 6x and plus 6 times plus 9 plus 54 times this x times this x x squared and x times plus 8 plus 8x and plus 7 times x plus 7x plus 7 times 8 56 divided by this x times x x squared and x times negative 9 negative 9x and negative 6 times x, negative 6x, negative 6 times negative 9 plus 54 times this x times x, x squared and x times negative 8, negative 8x, negative 7 times x, negative 7x and negative 7 times negative 8 plus 56 is equal to 1. Next, x squared. This uh, plus 9x plus 6x will become plus uh, 15 times x plus 54 times this x squared plus uh, 8x plus 7x will become 15 times x and because here we have 54 so we write this 56 as plus 54 plus 2 divided by this x squared x squared negative 9x minus 6x will become negative 15 times x plus 54 times this x squared x squared negative 8x minus 7x will become negative 15x and we write this uh, 56 as plus uh, 54 plus 2 is equal to 1. Now, we suppose that this uh, x squared plus 15x plus 54 is equal to a. Let a is equal to x squared plus 15 times x plus 54 and we suppose that this x squared minus 15x plus 54 is equal to b. Let b is equal to x squared minus 15 times x plus 54 
Now, we substitute a and b in this equation, then this equation will become a times a plus 2 divided by b times b plus 2 is equal to 1. Now, we distribute this a, a times a is equal to a squared and a times plus 2 plus 2a divided by this b times b b squared plus b times plus 2 2b is equal to 1. And if we multiply both sides by this b squared plus 2b, then this implies that a squared plus 2a is equal to b squared plus 2b. Now, we move with these two terms b squared plus 2b to the left hand side. Then this equation will become a squared minus b squared plus 2a minus 2b is equal to 0. Now, this a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And from these two terms uh, plus 2a minus 2b, we can factor out 2 plus 2 as common factor and in bracket left a minus b is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a minus b and this a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, a minus b and in bracket left this a plus b in this plus 2. In bracket left, a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, if we subtract b from both sides of this equation, then this implies that a is equal to b. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a is equal to x squared plus 15x plus 54 and b is equal to x squared minus 15x plus 54. We have supposed that a is equal to x squared plus 15x plus 54 and b is equal to x squared minus 15x plus 54. So, this equation a is equal to b will become x squared plus 15 times x plus 54 is equal to x squared minus 15x plus 54. Now, if we subtract x squared from both sides, this x squared will be cancelled out with this x squared. And if we subtract 54 from both sides, then this 54 will be cancelled out with this 54. And if we move this negative 15x to the left hand side, then 15x plus 15x is equal to 0. 15x plus 15x will become 30 times x is equal to 0 and if we divide both sides by 30 then this implies that x is equal to 0. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, in this equation a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0, we replace this a with this uh, x squared plus uh, 15x plus 54 and we replace this b with this uh, x squared minus 15x plus 54. Then this equation will become x squared plus uh, 15 times x plus uh, 54 plus uh, in place of b we write this x squared minus uh, 15x plus 54 plus this 2 
is equal to 0. Now, this uh, negative 15x will be cancelled out with this positive 15x and this uh, 1x squared plus uh, this 1x squared will become 2x squared and this uh, 54 plus uh, 54 108 plus these two will become plus 110 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor and in bracket left x squared plus 55 is equal to 0. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, this implies that x squared plus 55 is equal to 0. Now, we move this 55 to the right hand side, then x squared will be equal to negative 55 and from here we take uh, square root of both sides of uh, this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 55. Next x is equal to plus or minus this is square root of negative 55 can be written as square root of 55 times negative 1 and because the square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, this will become x is equal to plus or minus square root of 55 times i this is the second and third value of x. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.